Namaste and welcome to Refill Yoga. My name is Andrew and in today's class I'm going to be guiding you through a sequence of back bends to open the chest, open the heart and bring in lots of energy. When we do back bends, it applies a certain pressure to the adrenal glands and that brings us a, a big boost of energy. It can make us feel more positive, more optimistic and more ready to face what lies ahead. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to practice. Before we get into today's class, I will let you know that I will be releasing an extended version of this class, including not only the asanas and backbending to make us feel more positive, but also some pranayama for opening the heart, opening the lungs, bringing in deeper states of gratitude, love and abundance. I will be available exclusively to our members. If you'd like to experience the extended version of this class, as well as our entire library of exclusive content, such as other extended classes, advanced practices, specific techniques and teachings to help you go deeper into your practice, you can find it at refillyoga.com. Uh, if you want to check it out today, we're right now offering a free seven-day trial to anyone who signs up to the membership. And with that said, let's get ready to practice. So find your way into a comfortable seated position. We'll start by tuning in, setting the space for transformation. So a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you, somewhere where you can sit with a spine nice and tall. Pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up. Roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open, soft and relaxed. Then I invite you to close the eyes, turn your attention inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Fill the body with breath, then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh, soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Again, open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, and feel the vibrations of the sigh, massaging the nervous system and bringing you into your body. One more time, deep inhalation. Take in as much air as you can and hold it. Hold the breath and relax the body. Soften the face, the shoulders, the hips, the legs. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are before we begin the practice. How you feel in your body. How you feel in your energy. Your emotions and your mind. Wherever you are now is perfect. It's exactly where you're meant to be. Just make a commitment to yourself to remain present, to not allow the mind to take you away. Commit to remain present throughout this practice. Then take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. Beautiful. Welcome to class. We're going to start warming the body with some rounds of the sun citation. So make your way up to standing. And come to standing at the front of the mat. Feet slightly separated, parallel. Pressing down into the heels. Reaching up to the crown of the head. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And we begin inhaling the arms up. Hips go forward, arching back. Exhale, folding forward all the way down to the floor. Step the left leg back, left knee to the mat. Sink into the hips and inhale as you open the chest to the front. And exhale, step back to plank. Nice strong plank, hands are directly under the shoulders, pressing back to the heels, reaching forward to the crown, pelvis is tucked. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale, the knees, chest and chin to the floor. Make sure the elbows hug the ribs. 
Press into the hands, inhale forward to cobra. Shoulders are down away from the ears, chest is open. Exhale back into down dog. Take a moment here to walk it out. First down dog of the day, so really connect with your body here. Bend one knee, press the opposite heel down. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Maybe rock the shoulders side to side. Feel what you need. What does your body want from you in this moment? Remember to keep breathing. Make sure your fingers are spread wide and the whole hand is pressing down to the mat. We want every finger engaged to help protect the wrists. Then slowly make your way into stillness. Bend both knees. Press your heart down to the mat. Reach your tailbone high to the sky. And with this length from the wrists to the hips, start to straighten the legs again. Pressing the heels down, reaching the tailbone up. Don't worry if your heels don't touch the floor. It's not important. What's important is we want to feel this opening along the whole back body. And with the next inhalation, we step the left foot forward between the hands. Right knee goes to the mat. We inhale, open the chest to the front. And then exhale, stepping forward, forward, fold. Bend the knees slightly. Inhale, reaching forward, up. Hips go forward, arching back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the effect of this first round of Surya Namaskar. The opening of the physical body. Stretching the muscles, lubricating the joints. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's prepare for our next round. Standing nice and tall, hands in front of the heart. Deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And inhaling, reaching up, hips forward, arching back. Exhale, diving down. This time the right leg steps back, knee to the mat, sink into the hips, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, back to plank. Strong plank, pelvis is tucked, deep inhalation. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the floor. Press into the hands, inhale through to cobra, shoulders down from the ears. Exhale back into down dog. And again, we pause here. Walk it out. Enjoy it. This will be the last time we stop in down dog. After this, we'll just be flowing through with the breath. So really give your body this moment to connect. And make your way into stillness. With the next inhalation, right foot steps forward, left knee to the mat, sink into the hips, open the chest. Exhale, stepping forward, forward, fold. Inhale all the way up and back, hips forward, arching back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the effect of this second round of Surya Namaskar. Greater opening of the body. Starting to create a little bit of warmth as we activate the nervous system. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's prepare for our third and fourth round of Sari Namaskar. This time we're just flowing through with the breath. Standing nice and tall, hands at the heart, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And let's begin inhaling up and back. Exhale, diving down. Left foot steps back, knee to the mat. Inhale, open the chest. Hold the breath, step back to plank. 
and exhale, lowering knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Down Dog. Left foot steps forward, right knee to the mat, inhale. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Standing nice and tall, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. We begin again, inhale, up and back. Exhale, diving down. Right foot steps back, knee to the mat, inhale, open the chest. Hold the breath, step back to plank, exhale, lowering down. Inhale through to cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Right foot steps forward, left knee to the mat, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes close, attention inside. Feeling the effect of this third and fourth round of Surya Namaskar. Activating a little more of the nervous system, creating some tingles to the body. Starting to engage the heart and lungs, the cardiovascular system. Remember, even if the heart starts beating, we want to always breathe slow and steady, be in control of our energy. Mm. To give ourselves a little more boost, this next round we're going to do faster than usual, kind of double time. So to prepare to move and breathe together in a quick manner. Standing nice and tall, hands at the heart, deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and inhale up and back. Exhale, diving down. Left foot steps back, inhale. Hold the breath, step to plank, exhale down. Inhale through to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right knee to the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart and stop. Come to stillness. And feel the movement within. Notice how the more stable you are in your body, the more you can observe what's moving within you. Remember, even if the heart is beating, breathing slow and steady, riding the wave of your own inner energy. Beautiful. Let's prepare for our sixth round of Surya Namaskar, which we will perform slower than usual. So prepare to gauge the breath, move and breathe together in a slow manner. Standing nice and tall, hands at the heart, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And let's begin inhaling up and back. Breath and movement happen together, exhaling down. Right foot steps back, inhale. Hold the breath, step to plank. Exhale down. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Down Dog. Right foot steps forward, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Inhale, up and back.
Exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the effects of these six rounds of Surya Namaskar. Opening and expansion of the energy, the nervous system. Feeling the effects of these six rounds of Sarya Namaskar, awakening the physical body, activating the nervous system, opening the energetic channels. Hmm. And gently coming back. Beautiful. We will now begin with the asana section of our class. So we'll come down to sitting for demonstration. So we're going to do a series of backbends, different versions of Bhujang Asana to start with. Bhujang Asana is the cobra pose where we lay on our belly and we lift up. Uh, but we're going to do this pose with a few different hand variations to really open the entire spine. First hand variation will be the hands above the head, kind of like antlers. It's a more easy one. Second hand variation will be next to the ears, then next to the shoulders, then next to the chest, and finally down by the waist. In this way, we access the entire vertebrae. And you'll see it gets a little more, we go deeper and deeper. We're only going to hold each position for five breaths. So really take time to relax into the, into the pose. When we come down, we will rest our chin or forehead on the mat. We'll release the hands by the sides and really take a moment to integrate that. You'll see as we do backbends, what's happening is it's releasing adrenaline um, and bringing us this burst of energy, this burst of vitality. Really important that we relax in between those poses so that that energy can settle and flow where it needs to go. Body is super intelligent. So that energy will go where it needs to for our healing, for our, our, our greatest benefit. So just get out of the way in this relaxation phase. Okay? So come down to lying on the belly. Again, you can have the chin on the mat or the forehead on the mat. Whatever works better for you. And we will start with the hands above the head like antlers, okay? Shoulder distance apart. Exhale. Inhale, pressing into the hands. And relax here. Relax the legs. Relax the lower back. Relax the chest. Only thing engaged is the arms. Breathing deeply. Make sure the shoulders are down away from the ears. Deep inhalation. And exhale, lowering down, forehead to the mat. Hands by the sides, chin on the mat. And just relax here. Breathe along the spine. Allow that energy to settle, to relax. Hmm, beautiful. Let's, pre let's prepare for the next performance. Again, bring the forehead to the mat. This time the hands are next to the ears. Exhale. Inhale up into the pose. And relax here. Breathe deep. Again, relax the legs, relax the bum, the lower back. Only thing engaged is the arms pressing down and the shoulders down away from the ears. Take a deep inhalation. 
And as you exhale, lowering down, forehead to the mat, hands by the hips, and chin on the mat. Really surrender in this pose. Allow everything to soften. The more you can relax, the more the energy will radiate from the spine through your entire body. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's get ready for the next performance. Forehead to the mat. Hands under the shoulders. Exhale. And inhale, pressing into the hands, coming up. If you can't quite straighten the elbows, it's okay. You can have the elbows bent. Shoulders are down, away from the ears. Heart is open. And again, go through the sequence of breathing. Relaxing the legs. Relaxing the bum. Relaxing the back. Deep inhalation. And exhale, lowering down. Forehead to the mat. Hands by the hips, chin on the mat. And really relax here, breathing along the spine, allowing it to soften, the energy to flow. Beautiful. Next variation, bring the forehead to the mat. Hands just next to the chest. Exhale. Inhale, pressing with the hands coming up. Again, relax into the pose. Shoulders pulled back away from the ears. Breathing deep. Soften the legs, the bum, the lower back. And deep inhalation. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Forehead to the mat. Hands by the hips. Chin on the mat. Breathe and relax. Stay completely present with your breath. With the relaxation of the spine. The dispersing of energy throughout the body. And gently coming back. Our final variation. The hands are down by the hips, as close to the hips as possible. Forehead on the mat. Exhale. Inhale coming up. And exhale, relax into it. And deep inhalation. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Forehead to the mat. Hands by the hips. Chin on the mat. And release.
Hmm. Beautiful. You can continue lying. Uh, I will demonstrate the next practice we will do, which will be a variation of Shalabhasana. Shalabhasana is where we lay on the bellies and we lift the legs. Uh, and we will do three different variations of this. First one, we will fold the hands and place the hands on the pelvis. So we're holding the pelvic and then lifting the legs behind us. Second one is we will make fists and we will put them under the thighs. And then third one is we will have the hands uh, beside the thighs, so it's an unsupported version. And you'll see we go more and more into rising the energy as we do this. Okay, so from lying on the belly, bring the hands holding the pelvic region. Forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift the legs up. And hold here. Keep the legs lifted as high as possible. Breathing. Deep inhalation. And exhale, release. Release the hands. Lying with the eyes closed. Feel the energy dispersing through the body. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's prepare for our next variation where we'll make fists underneath the thighs. Palms are down. The fists are supporting the thighs. Reach back through the toes to lengthen the legs. Keep the chin on the mat. Then inhale, lifting the legs up. Keep the legs lifted as high as possible. Breathing. Deep inhalation, and exhale, release, lower the legs, release the hands, eyes closed, attention inside. Breathing deep to relax the spine and allow the energy to move. Preparing now for our final unsupported version. So the hands stay down next to the hips. Chin is on the mat. Inhale to lift the legs up. Keep the legs lifted and breathe. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale, release the legs. You can make a pillow for your forehead with the back of the hands. Lying with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Feeling the strong arousal of vital energy through your body as a result of all these back bends. Taking this time to allow the energy to move and flow through you. Beautiful. 
We're going to release the back now by moving into child's pose. Bring the hands next to the chest and very gently lift yourself up. Separate the knees, toes together and very slowly lower the hips down towards the heels, taking care to lengthen the lower back. Rest your forehead on the mat. And just relax here for a moment. To go a little bit deeper into our spinal release, come back up to all fours. This time bring the knees together and sit back again into child's pose with the legs together. Mm, beautiful. And from here, we're going to slowly come up and make our way down to lying on the mat for relaxation in Shavasana. Taking this time now to allow the energy to settle the mind and body to integrate the practice. Allow yourself to completely let go, to completely relax.
gently coming back to your body, preparing to reawaken with little movements of the toes and fingers, gentle rotations of the wrists and ankles, dropping the head from side to side to release the neck. When you're ready, reach your arms overhead. Take a deep inhalation, big stretch. Oh. Hug the knees into the chest to release the lower back. Rocking side to side to massage the spine. And slowly, gently roll onto one side and make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now after the practice. How you feel in your body, your energy, your emotions and your mind. Wherever you are, take a moment to offer yourself some gratitude for taking the time to do this deeply purifying, expansive practice. Taking time to focus on your health, your well being, and your peace of mind. And remember that when we do these practices, when we become more present, when we become more aware, more patient, we benefit our lives in so many ways. And we also benefit the lives of everybody we meet along the way. That's why it's always great to remember working on the self is the most selfless work that we can do. Because when you take care of yourself, then you can take care of the rest of the world. Thank you. Thank you for this moment of taking care of yourself. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. As you exhale, gently coming back so that I can say thank you to you for taking this time to share this practice with me. hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash like. Let me know in the comment section below how it was for you. And remember, if you wanted to experience the extended version of this class, you can join our membership at refillyoga.com. I'll leave a link in the description or probably somewhere around here. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you.